Hey everybody, Hey Dog here, and welcome back to another tier list. This time it is of all the Freddies. Now, I'm not doing all of the Freddies because these ones, like down here, I did organize them from the first game to the last. So, like, from around here with the blue ghost one right here, basically, this is the cutoff point because all the rest of these guys are either in the books or just randomly put there and doesn't really they don't do much anyway let's just get started with the first one the main man himself freddy fazbear um i would say okay so my opinion on freddy fazbear is i like him but in the gameplay i don't like him <laughs> if you've seen the other video i I mean, I did beat him pretty easily, you just look at the camera and he won't do anything, but my god, there's a bird chirping. I hope you guys aren't hearing that, there's just a bird, he's just chirping a lot. Anyway, he is annoying in the game and I'm not really a fan of him, but I do like him because he's the main man, Freddy. But I just hate his gameplay. But I will put him... He was going to be S tier, but I'll put him in A tier. Just because. Just, you know. All the Freddy fans are like, oh my god, why? It's like, well, I'm not really... I don't like his mechanics. He's not really good. <laughs> Very confusing. And now we got the Golden Freddy. Golden Freddy... Uh, I don't know. I like him. I like him or her. But, you know, the lore is so confusing about them. I do love their design, but it really is just kind of like Freddy, but colored. Uh, but I will put... I will put Golden Freddy... Cause he doesn't do much in the game either. He's just an Easter egg. B tier. I know, I know, I know. B tier. Wow. All right. Now we are on to FNAF 2. Electric Boogaloo. Uh, we got Withered Freddy. I will say Withered Freddy is one of the most scariest ones in that game. I mean, he is just a big boy. That's it. He's just big. Uh, but also he's just, again, another withered, so I would put him in B tier. Uh, but Golden Withered Freddy actually does a little bit more in this game. Uh, again, just the same, mostly same color and mostly same design as Withered Freddy. Uh, I... I would put Wither Golden Freddy in A, you know, honestly, just because they actually do more stuff in that game than in FNAF 1. Uh, Shadow Freddy, or what I always like to call it, Blackberry Freddy. I would say in FNAF 2, just a secret, kind of, you know, there, just, eh, you know, but... He, I mean, he is in FNAF 3, and it's very interesting. Like, why is he even there? Why does they, they, they or he even say, follow me? It's a little interesting. I don't know. It just gets my, gets my lore senses tingling with him. And we've never really seen much of him at all. It's like Shadow Bonnie. We still don't, like, we don't know about these, like shadow variants of the animatronics at all very mysterious very mysterious uh i i would put blackberry freddy honestly b tier just just how mysterious he is toy freddy eh i mean He's cool, I like the design, I do like an Ultimate Custom Night that he has a voice and he's pretty funny. Um, but that's really it. Like in FNAF 2, like if he didn't do that in FNAF 2, honestly I would put him in like D tier. 
or at E tier. But I would put, I would honestly put Toy Freddy in C tier right now, just because he is funny. I, I would say he is a funny guy. I love how he's a gamer. But that's mostly it. <laughs> then we got Phantom Freddy. Again, you know, kind of there just to scare you and stuff. I do like the walking in the hallway mysteriously. Uh, that's a good touch. Uh, I would put him in D tier. I honestly, I would put him in C tier just because he's a little. I know you'll be like, why? He's just like a phantom ghost. That's it. But I just like his design. He's just kind of cool looking. That's it. I think, to my 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 personal opinion, these are my opinions. I think the Phantom animatronics look pretty cool. I that's that's all I'm saying. All right, now we're on FNAF 4. F Nightmare Freddy. I was just Freddy. No, still. Eh, I don't know. I never really got jump scared by him, and I think it's kind of lame how he doesn't jump scare you until all the frettles are out. Um, cause like, he's like never in the game until then. So honestly, I'll put him in just D tier, just because he's not really the, well he is the threat, but he's not really the main threat present. He's only when he's jump scaring you. But then the Freddles come in, and I would say these little douchebags are one of the most scariest things in that thing. It's terrifying. I mean, they are creepy as all hell. And I hate them. That's why they're going in C tier. Um, Nightmare Fredbear, right? Is that the right name? Nightmare Fredbear, I guess. This guy. This guy in the game gave me trouble, and I was so thrown off by him. Um, but he is a cool guy and cool mechanics, I would say. He's the only one there, and he's he's the boss. You know, he, he runs the entire thing. Creepiest design ever. I'm going to put him in A tier just because of that. Nightmare. I know you can't really see the picture, but I'm guessing it's Nightmare because that's all I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's just Nightmare. Again, Nightmare pretty much mysterious. Don't know why he's there, really. I, I, get, I don't know why. Some of these characters are there, and then they're gone. It's like, okay. But I... I would put him in like C tier just because his jump scare animation is kind of just an image, which is creepy. But once you've seen it once, you're kind of like, okay. Now, Psychic Friend Fredbear. Who are you gonna call Psychic Friend Fredbear? Okay. He honestly is very mysterious and very. Weird? It is well, they're all weird, but weird as in like, why is this thing here? And I get it, it's like supposed to be a camera inside, so Willie Mafton can look at his children, but like it's like and like talk to them, but it's like okay, dude, like I don't know. I would honestly put him in like. D tier just because he doesn't he says stuff but that's it he's more of the narrator in that game now fun time Freddy I would say is one of the most scariest ones in that game holy shit I screamed so loud when I got jump scared by him he is he has great voice Kellen is such a great voice actor he is downright one of the, like, most craziest and bizarre characters I've ever seen. I, he's, he's awesome. S tier. I'm sorry. S tier. Now, Yendo. 
Yendo, Yendo, Yendo. I... Just kind of like Golden Freddy, but like... Weird. <laughs> Not, I mean, he's only in one game. He kind of is there. And... Does he even jump scare you? No, he just tries to choke you to death, right? Like, he drains your oxygen, right? So... <laughs> That's it? I mean, there's not really much about him, and I... Not really useless. Anyway. Um, Adventure Freddy. I, I kind of like him. He's cute. I like the little cuteness. Wouldn't say he's the best of them. He's very normal, basic in that game. I guess all these Freddy... I guess this is what I'm saying. Is Most of these Freddies are very basic. And Freddy is a very basic character, I guess. I would say C tier. Not bad, just kind of normal. And then we get to FNAF, what is this? Six? Right, yeah, six. Uh, what's his name? Rockstar Freddy, Jesus. Uh, Rockstar Freddy, FNAF 6, not really that interesting. Kind of just like a, oh look, it's a Freddy, but new. Um, but in Ultimate Cousin Might, he is actually pretty interesting, I would say. I wouldn't say funny, because he's very annoying when you're playing, but interesting is the right word. I would put him C tier. No, I would have put him in B tier, but if he did something in FNAF 6, maybe, but... Uh, Helpy. I, I like him. He's kind of cute. Kind of, you know, and then he has that whole aesthetic of like, oh, it's Funtime Freddy, but little. Very annoying in Ultimate Custom Night. And just in FNAF 6, he's just... Like a little helper kind of guy, you know? Little, little, little guy, little guy. He's funny, you know, he breaks his spine every time you play a game. Really creative. Um, I would put B, honestly. Like, B, yeah, I, I would say. Pretty average. Lefty. Now, here's the thing. I am going... Because Lefty's just the puppet. So, like... Is this even like, should I just like put him in a tier with like how the design of him? Because like technically Lefty is just a puppet. I don't know. If we're going by that logic, I would probably put him in like D or E tier. But if we're going to like how he is in the game, probably like B tier. C tier. Um, I'll just go all the way around uh, everything about him. So I, I would put him in B tier just because it's kind of interesting. It's just like a capture device for the puppet. That's kind of funny. Oh, he just gets captured in an animatronic. I don't even know how that would work. I mean, I've actually seen some videos of, like, it, like, a bunch of claws come out, and I'm like, ugh, the hell? I, I mean, I, I'm like, oh, how can Henry make that? I, I, I don't know. Anyway, Ned Bear. Um, I do like him in Ultimate Customite. He is kind of a funny, funky, funky, is that the right word? Funky character. Oh, my dishwasher just... Okay. Turned off. Um, he's, a, he's a funky character. I do like his voice. He's a very ha -ha, kind of southern, western cowboy. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what accent that was, but he's funky. You know. That's it. I would put in C tier. Molten Freddy. Ah, uh, I like him. Very cool design, kind of entered, and then, like, Freddy combined. Kind of, but, like, made a new character. But had a baby. 
entered and Freddy had a baby. Duh, God, don't, please don't, don't ever draw that, ever, ever, ever. Probably someone already has that. Anyway, Mom Freddy, I would honestly put at A just because he's very cool and <laughs> scared the shit out of me when I played. Ah, uh, yes, the man, girl, the girl herself, Fredbear slash Cassidy. Um, I like Cassidy. Uh, very interesting, very mysterious, very vengeful. Um, I mean, that's it. Honestly, like, B tier. I, I would put it like A tier, but like, I, if they like were more in, I guess they are just Golden Freddy and Withered Freddy and the other Cassidy Freddy. I don't know. But, eh. There was just more. If there was just more to a character like that, then yes. Alright, now we're on the VR. Uh, I, okay, so this is VR Freddy. I didn't really play too much of it. Freddy did scare me a little bit. Um, that was a cool mechanic with the voice box. I, I, you know what, I would say, like, B tier scared me a lot. This one, uh, it, was that Shadow Freddy? It was either Shadow Freddy or just Pissed Off Freddy. It was just Angry Freddy. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm putting in D just because, yeah. Uh, Frankenstein Freddy. Very cool design. Very neat concept. I never thought Freddy could be Frankenstein, but here we are. But... That's it. <laughs> he's, the, he's in the DLC, kind of, pretty much. And that's it. Uh, I would say... Let's see. Not really getting up higher than that. Yeah, mostly his Freddy's are just very average. Glamrock Freddy. No questions asked. I mean, come on. The dude helps you in the game. Like, the first animatronic ever to actually help a human instead of killing it just saying you know great voice acting great memes great like character all around honestly awesome design i would say the glamrock freddy design is really good all the gra glamrocks are really good um very fresh and new that's yeah and then I think this is the last one, The Blob. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this character. They are so mysterious that I don't even know where to rank them. Because it is a very cool design. It is just a blob of every crap of Five Nights at Freddy's you could ever think. Just a mash of blob of crap and parts. And, I mean, all we really know, it's just basically angry souls in it. That's it. I, there's, it's just angry. That's it. <laughs> I don't know where to rank this because I, like, I, I don't want to, like, because I'm like, oh, it's not really that you don't really see it that much. Like, and, but like, it's just such a very neat concept. Of just like, all of this anger is one big mesh of parts. And, I don't know, I uh, I would go, ugh, this is hard. Somewhere in the middle here. Uh, I would go B, just because it's cool. It's not too cool, but it's just a neat concept of Freddy, I guess. Because, I mean, 
I guess Freddy was always pissed off all the time, but this is like mega pissed off. And um, on that note, I will stop it there because all the rest of these are just like Freddy's that I would just put in E basically because I don't really know them and I don't really care. Uh, but yeah, most of the Freddy's in here are very middle, very not, <laughs> not in the top, I would say. A lot of them are kind of in the bottom, middle, just because I'm not really a fan of them or they're just kind of boring. I would say Freddy has been kind of the basic bitch of FNAF. <laughs> The basic, the basic boy of FNAF, or a girl. Golden Freddy's there too, but again, not really there there. The ghost, I would say, of the lore. Anyway, this is, again, just my opinion of the Freddy's and Golden Freddy's and every, the bear, the bears, there we go, the bears. All my, my, all my opinion on the bears in FNAF. Um, and I know there's probably like, I'm just off the top of my head, I don't even know if there's like other FNAF characters. You're like, oh, you forgot about Mr. Bear Bear from FNAF Boys. And it's like, I, you know, like, I just picked this tier list just because I'm lazy. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm gonna end off here. Uh, comment what you what you think. Who is your S tier bear? That sounded weird. I've never S tier bear. I never think of saying that. But yeah, comment down below. What is your favorite Freddy? Who is your favorite Freddy? And who's who's your worst? Who do you hate? Who do you dislike? Who do you not care about? Comment down below. And also like and subscribe. See ya.